Understanding, it's quite probable, unpacking probability in English. Hello, everyone, welcome to today's video where we'll be diving into the phrase, it's quite probable. This expression is a fascinating part of the English language, often used to express likelihood or chance. If you've ever been curious about how to use this phrase correctly or want to understand its nuances, you're in the right place. Let's get started. The phrase, it's quite probable, combines two key elements, quite and probable. Quite is an adverb used here to modify the adjective probable, enhancing its meaning. It's a way of expressing that something is to a considerable extent but not absolutely. Think of quite as a way of increasing the intensity of the statement without going to the extreme. Probable, on the other hand, is an adjective that indicates something is likely to happen or be the case. When we say something is probable, we're suggesting that there's a good chance of it occurring, based on the evidence or our understanding of the situation. Combining these two, it's quite probable suggests a strong possibility or likelihood of something happening, though it stops short of being a certainty. To better understand, it's quite probable. Let's look at a few examples. 1. Weather forecasting. Looking at the cloud formation, it's quite probable that it will rain later today. Here, the phrase indicates a strong likelihood of rain based on observable evidence. 2. Making predictions. Given his performance this season, it's quite probable that he'll win the award. This suggests a strong belief in the outcome based on the current data. 3. Daily conversations. Do you think he'll go to the party? It's quite probable. In casual talk, it communicates a high likelihood of attending the party without confirming it 100%. When using, it's quite probable, it's important to consider the context and the message you want to convey. This phrase is perfect for situations where you want to express confidence in an outcome without stating it as a fact. It's a polite, measured way to communicate expectations, predictions, or assumptions. Remember, the key to using this phrase effectively is understanding the balance between probability and certainty. It expresses a reasoned guess or expectation, making it a valuable tool for conversations, writings, and speeches. Thank you for joining me today to explore the phrase, it's quite probable. Understanding how to use expressions like this can significantly enhance your English communication, making it richer and more nuanced. I hope this video has been informative and has added a valuable piece to your English language learning journey. See you in the next video.